Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to make a quick video about of how to set up the tabletop simulator for Kill Team 24, the new Kill Team. So in case you're new here, this is usually a German channel, but I thought I'd make this tutorial in English since I haven't found much of um, this topic in related to the newest Kill Team. So here we go. Yeah, all you need is the tabletop simulator and we once installed you go to the workshop and i'm going to show you the files you will need in order to set up a kill team game there so first of all we need the kt command node to kill team command node and the um, accompanying by the kt command node ui extension which is basically the user interface in case you're new to tabletop simulator these are most likely um, user-generated mods and uh, plugins. You Once you are going to um, follow it and subscribe to it, you don't have to worry about updating it or whatever it might be. So usually it goes uh, in the back end, so you don't have to worry about that. Once followed, you will always have the newest version available. So besides those two, we need the kill team base table. Do you type KT base table? And there are a couple of, so you want to go with the one of Forontitas or how it's called. The beta version is, I think, for testing, but you need this one. So don't worry about it. You don't have to type it in. If you take a look in the video description below, you will find the links up there. So the base table is basically where anything happens. But that's not enough to play a kill team game in Tabletop Simulator. You will also need the light roots ploys. They are not mandatory because most of it comes with a new table anyway, but the more resources you have, the better it might be. So make sure to just subscribe to it. And then we need one thing more, which is kind of important, which is the kill team operatives and uh, equipment and ploys, I think. So you go with the Russian guy here and KT3 operatives, ploys and equipment. So this is really mandatory because um, this is where you will get your kill team operatives and to build your teams. So you are going to follow that as well. So you can just click the green plus button or you go on it and unsubscribe. So however, if you're looking, if you are going to look for kill team, you will also find cards and minis. So I usually tend to subscribe to more than one in case one updates faster than the other one. It's good to have some other stuff available as well. So you can also see in the description what the latest update is about and what's in there. So um, you don't have to worry. Anyway, that's basically almost all we need. Um, in case you want to play the old terrain, Kill Team previous editions, you can go terrain and boxes, which will give you all the available kill team terrain up front. However, the kill team base map has the most current kill zones included, which is Volkos and so on. So Volkos, Gallo Dark and Beta Decimus in there. And what we're going to do now is we are going to launch our tabletop simulator and here we go. So first of all, before we start, um, the normal language here is um, English. You don't really have the option to change it I think it doesn't really matter so yeah first of all we are going to set up before we take a look at the table anyway so you can either go directly multiplayer or single player for the first time being I would suggest you to go single player here on the workshop you can find the items we just subscribed and follow to and you can find the kill team base table so the beater you don't really need that much so you can delete it I just had it just to look into it so anyway, but before we start with our table and setting up terrain and everything else, we need a kill team. So you can go for the ploys, the terrain and boxes and uh, add that all to your object library. What that means, I'm going to show you in a minute. The command node is just an interface. You don't really have to bother about that. So the only thing we are going to care about now is the operative ploys and equipment. And then we are moving on with the table itself. So you're clicking load. And um, here we go. This is a table where you can find all your miniatures. Uh, as for the controls of uh, Tabletop Simulator, in case you're new, you can um, put the hashtag button and then, then you see a control overview. So you really have the right mouse button to go, um, um, uh, to turn it around. You have uh, WASD to just fly around, 
this is a mouse right now, then you have the center button of the mouse to scroll in and scroll out, or zoom in and zoom out. And um, you can use the Q and the E button to rotate items, but you will figure that out on your own. So anyway, we're starting with Chaos as an um, example. I'm going with Nemesis Claw, which is the army I'm playing currently, or the kill team I'm playing. So you have the cards available and you have uh, you can actually right click and search on it and then you see all the cards in there but on this table you don't have to worry about it so you can just grab the dice and the cards and do a right click here and then you're going to save object and then you can give it whatever name you you want to give so um you can just make sure you will find it later on night claw is not really the name but i call it cards and dice so save it then you can take the sack and you can search in there as well, so you will find all your operatives ready to go. And you can just uh, right click that as well. So whatever you save in your object library here, you will have later on in any other inf interface available to drop it in there. So that's why we are basically saving it for now, because um, there's no way to get that on the table without having it in your object library. I actually prepared it up front a bit, so I have um, the object library full. So I go on the, not background, sorry. So you go on object, and then you go on save object, and then you see the kill team loadout 01 is uh, how I play my kill team currently. So um, you can actually multi-select single um, operators, so you can pull them out first, the ones you need. You multi-select them, and then you go on save objects and uh, you can therefore save your team of six. So I prepared that and here we go. I can just drag and drop it out for now. And here we go. And there are our operators, even with um, tokens and already hit points on there. So that is basically it. So once you have set it up, you can also go for various teams right here. You can also do the same for um, equipment and cards, but most likely you will find the new cards and ploys on the current kill team table. You can do that with the terrain there, but even that is included in the new table. So we go there. Uh, open a multiplayer game. You can just type any server name, any server passwords, but your friend will need this to join you on the game. So you can even, I think, generate an invite link or whatever, but just make it public with a server password so everyone can find it, even though you want to play people on Discord or whatever. Then you go on workshop and you go to the KT24 base table. Um, it is not currently 100% up to date for Kill Team 2024. So a couple of things are still missing, but it is ready to play. So you can really go and play it. It will take a time depending on your speed of your system. Then you can go red player, blue player, or just being a spectator in case you want to watch someone live in the simulator. But here we go. That's basically where the magic happens. And this is the table you're going to play your game on. So you have the pregame checklist. And here you see it's just on Field Team 2022. Um, you could select Chaos and uh, the Nemesis Claw, for example. And it would even spawn your cards. But uh, for now, this is not up to date to Field Team 24. You are just going to hide it and ignore that so you don't use it. So more than that, um, you have anything you need in this or on this table or on this interface. And it only looks like this if you have the Kill Team interface uh, subscribed. So you have the buttons here, the tokens you need. Uh, they're most likely fixed items, but you can pull them off and uh, they will just copy. You have the dice box here and there's a how to use in case you're not sure how to use something. We have a game cheat sheet here. Um, you can always zoom in with your mouse, so make sure you're getting comfortable uh, comfortable with your um, things. And now the most important thing, we're going to decide for Kills and Volkers. And there you have a preset of layouts currently from the set. And then you can just click on place and you see objects placed. And there we go. In, in a couple of seconds, your terrain is set. It's actually pretty well textured. There we have the um, extra items locked on the table and you can just copy them out in case you want to use them for the game. But anything uh, than that, you can also set our boarding action, so saying Gallo Dark Terrain or Beta Decima. And um, yeah, you're just going to have to use a slider. Here you can move any item around like your um, like your operator slider. You can just drag and drop it. So uh, on the left you see the bar. I'm going to go into the handling a bit later on. But here we are with the setup table already. Now we're going to save objects here. 
And now you can pull anything by drag and drop in here. Uh, you might need the dice, the cards, the kill team, which I have prepared already. But uh, if you have the sack here, uh, you can actually build it on the side as well. So first thing you want to do is you want to multi-select. Then you're going to right click and you're going to toggle and measure movement. This is the benefit of a tabletop simulator. You always see the exact movement an inch and uh, it's toggled. So anytime you move the object, you will see the range. Oops, no, I jumped, sorry for that. So here we go. Then we have uh, here on the left, you can even paint and delete it later. Uh, you can also use the F numbers, F1 to F4. You can measure an inch in 2D or 3D. There's, um, I'm gonna show you the difference here, um, which is actually a big difference. So uh, in case you wanna draw a line of sight or just, um, Whatever, I'm just gonna place one here, bottom here, and then I'm going to switch to draw, or you just, uh, to line, sorry, or you just press F4, and then you can actually draw it. So right now it's locked on 3D, and you can actually directly draw from up to lower level, and if you switch to 2D, you can just draw on the same axis, so you cannot really go into deep. But what we wanna have here is actually 3D drawing, and you can put it down, uh, by pushing the middle button, mouse button, you can uh, just flip it around by using Q and R. You can uh, rotate it, and if you push the right mouse button at the same time, you will toggle it to the kill zone floor and uh, actually collage, to have uh, collisions. <laughs> so let's pretend we're going to set up our kill team quickly by left click and just drag and drop pretty quickly. You can now even um, do the things a lot faster. You can uh, kill them, you can engage, change the order. So you can multi-select, put everyone in conceal. And there you see the small markers. You can even put on them and make them basically done. And uh, you can also switch the order by just right-clicking on a single model. Oops, you're just gonna hit better. Engage and you switch the token. You have here the hit points of the models, which is fairly good. And uh, you can also press num block one to get an idea of uh, the loadout and everything else. But um, that's about it. You can also, an important thing is uh, show range and you're going to put like eight inch, inch pistol. You want to see the range. And there you go, you got the full radius. Is it eight inch? It seems a bit bigger. I think it's four, should have been. This is one. And that's pretty decent to play. So you're not bound to any physical limitations of your measuring tools or your hands or whatever. You can just measure from any point given to any other point given on the map, which is a bit more technical than a usual tabletop you might play on the game. And here's by pressing one on the num button, you see the visionary with all this movement stats. But don't worry, you can also just pull the cards like in a normal game. I'm going to show you to that later. Anyway, um, what else? This is it about the uh, interface and using. Yeah, you can also save the position, move it, and in case you wanna see if something fits or doesn't, and it doesn't, you can just load the position and you will go back to default where you saved it. So that's a really neat tool. I would love to have that in real life actually, but yeah, it really helps, I guess. So we will now you can just um, use the camera to get a good idea on the table, uh, fly around it, basically get a point of view from every um, place where you wanna be. So um, when you measure up and you shift, for example, and you also see the vertical distances, and that really helps as well. So other than that, you can use the measurement tool on the left to measure basically anything, or you just do it while moving. There you see you can also ready all operators and so on, but that um, has to be a bit refined. Other than that, you have uh, crit ops, you can just pull the cards, you can turn them around by the middle mouse button, um, you can just scroll them, you can have the tag ops here, you can also flip them around, you can use them, the, anything, anything you have in real life you have here, like all the small help links. And I think the interface of the kill team map will improve within the next week or month. So it's being constantly updated. Here you have the dice. You can add six dice, five dice, whatever. You can just roll or 
drop it in the small Amazon box. You can select all ones, all twos. You can auto roll. You have your chess clock for tournament plays. Uh, your score sheet. You have. Um, you can always switch the uh, terrain setup and basically anything you need. Like like really. And you just have to get comfortable about moving around. There you see in the Nemesis pack you can also um, search. There we have our markers. You can yeah you have to be a bit careful just to not spam the board with it. But um, yeah you get the specific markers. You get the specific cards. Uh, you even have the um, data sheet cards in there, and you can just drop them out. Um, so so your opponent can read it. Actually, it seems a bit small, but don't forget you can always zoom in or just put it here. Deploy in gambits and it will enlarge on its own. And this is really helpful and um, possibly you will never have a, that organized table uh, in your basement or wherever you play or your garage. And here you see the different um, data sheet as well. So all you need really for every available kill team you will find with the links I've put here in the description. And that's about it. Um, yeah, you can just start playing right away, I guess. Um, anything I forgot? Now we have the score sheet. Yeah, you can just play around. You see basically the scoring down there adapts to whatever you put in there. The controls are fairly easy. And um, anyhow, if you don't understand any something, there's even a tutorial, I guess, in here. And how to use is everywhere. So you can just go on there. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, here you can reset, put the tokens away, recall place, and um, put just what you need. On the left here, the clock is ticking, so that's pretty easy. If you go over terrain, it even shows you what is it about. Um, if you hold it a bit longer, you will see the terrain rules and all about that. Yeah, for me, um, to be honest, I prefer to play on a real table, but I also have lost a lot of my ability to play full games because I have lack of time due to business and um, private life. So I used to be a 40k player all along, and uh, that's why I switched to skirmishes. And uh, you can even play that on a small laptop without any problems. Uh, I think the performance um, of a small regular laptop should be fine. Yeah, and that's about it. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you to set up your tabletop simulator available on Steam and uh, for Kill Team 2024. And this is basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments below. And yeah, make sure to have fun and have fun rolling some dice, uh, either it's digital or not. See you later.